Hey everybody, this is Jay Crash to look back on a film from 1971 called Walkabout. Now I really feel that this is a this is a classic of 70s cinema. It's a British film that came out. I remember seeing this film when I was a, a teenager on HBO or, or, or one of the cable channels. Really had an impact on me as a young person. And I recently came across this film on Blu-ray Criterion Collection. It all came back to me. Wow, this film. I can't believe I hadn't thought of this film in so long. After seeing it again just the other day, blown away. This is a fantastic film. It reinforced everything I thought about this film and really brought it to light even more. It's kind of one of those great films that sort of got put in the back of my mind. And I really wanted to call attention to this film because it is available on Blu-ray and Criterion now. So check it out. It's a film that centers around... It, it's an interesting concept here. It's two British school children. They're living in Australia with their father, who's a geologist, and they end up on this little picnic. He's doing some geological work uh, out in the Australian outback, and he flips out and goes crazy, he tries to kill the kid. It's a 15-year-old girl and like an 8-year-old boy, and they escape, and they escape out into the outback. And they get lost. They are dying of thirst. They're hungry. And they end up being befriended by a young Aborigine boy who is on a walkabout, which is a rite of passage that uh, Aborigine youth go through, young men, where they have to spend, you know, like a three month period out on their own in the outback. And he comes across the, the two British kids and he helps them survive and, and shows them how to find water, shows them how to hunt. This is a, a prime example of culture clash. And it's a film that really has been done theoretically through other films, but it's really a unique film. This is some of the best editing that I think I've ever seen in film. The way that the film through these jump cuts and little snippets how it's able to contrast civilized quote-unquote society with uh, natural quote-unquote society through the series of these uh, comparisons through different different shots very well done we experience the clash there's not a lot of dialogue here a lot of it is shown to us this kind of probably could have been a silent film. There, There is exchanges, of course, obviously, and some very important dialogue, but so much of, of what takes place is visual in this film. The, the vast openness of the outback, the scorching sun, the animal life, the nature, and how all the little prim and proper ways that these school kids have are, are basically meaningless in the face of of the natural world and the aborigine boy is kind of this symbol for this transition that takes place within these characters as they fight to survive a fantastic film great cinematography in this film the film stars a very beautiful young girl a 15 year old girl named jenny a gooder and there's some controversy, I guess, that was sparked, of course. You know, the 70s were such a free era. There was, it seemed so much more of a social appetite for, for artistic types of films. It seemed that audiences were more open-minded and, and willing to accept film as an art. There was a really, you know, with the whole American new wave that was kind of coming through the 70s and late 60s, really defined sort of film as an art. And there is some nudity in this film. And it's nudity of children. And I guess that created a controversy. Surprise, surprise. But the way that it is done and presented in the context of the story is so natural and it's just there to really show a point that is in the face of nature we are as as one we are just human beings living within that nature and it was very uh, tasteful despite the um, you know 
some of the graphic nudity, frankly, that's in the film. This is an outstanding film. I highly recommend Walkabout. It's it's a, a philosophical film that really opens up more and more every time you view this film. Check it out. It's Walkabout. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's Jay Crash. In the blood of Eden, my